This is my Samsung tablet and in this video I'm going to install macOS 10. Let's get started. The first thing I did was download an app called Limbo which is a Kimu based emulator for Android devices. It allows you to emulate a complete PC on your device and install many OS's. There are two editions of the Limbo emulator x86 and PowerPC. x86 is an architecture you are most likely familiar with as it's the 32-bit equivalent of the modern x64 architecture used today. But PowerPC, that is a different story. It's a different CPU architecture created by IBM, Apple and Motorola. It was based on RISC instructions and the chips were most famously used on consoles like the Xbox 360 and the Wii and Apple computers made from the years 1994 to 2005. This includes machines like the iMac G5, PowerMac G5, PowerBook G4 and the iBook G4. But a problem arose for Apple when they realized that although their new G5 chips were powerful, they were also very inefficient. Their fastest of the lineup, the quad-core PowerMac G5, drew insane amounts of energy and would radiate as much heat as a space heater. It was so inefficient that the G5 couldn't even be put inside laptops as that would be an engineering nightmare. So in 2005, Apple announced their plans to phase out PowerPC and start using Intel x86 chips which were both energy efficient and more powerful in their computers. They completed the transition in the year 2007 which leaves us with macOS version 10.5 Leopard which was the final version of macOS that was ever compiled for PowerPC. All versions released after only supported Intel processors and this final version 10.5 Leopard is what we'll be installing. In the Limbo emulator, I created a new virtual machine called macOS. I went to the board settings and set the machine type as G3 Beige, CPU model as G4, gave it 1 core and 512 MB of RAM. Then I went down to disks and created a 20 GB virtual hard disk. Next, I extracted the macOS 10 Leopard image, mounted it to CD-ROM in Limbo and set it as the boot device. Then when I started the VM, it instantly crashed. I checked the logs and it said the board was incompatible with this amount of RAM and that I should try lowering the RAM to 192 MB. When I did, the VM started and the Apple logo appeared, but after a few minutes, the OS kernel panic. I looked at the messages and it said that it was unable to find a driver for the PowerMac G3 platform. So I tried changing the machine type to Mac 99 and leaving the CPU as default. I also downloaded a macOS 10.4 Tiger installation DVD ISO. When I tried booting it, I got an Apple logo but that was all I could get. I waited for about 20 minutes and it was still on the Apple logo. I did some more digging and found a Kimu hard disk image with 10.4 Tiger pre-installed. Then when I went back to the Limbo board settings and changed the CPU from default to G4. But where I truly messed up was booting the image as a CD-ROM when I really should have set it as the hard disk image. Anyway, when I tried booting it, it would go to the Apple logo, show a loading animation, then the VM would restart. It took me an embarrassingly long time to realize my error but when I set the ISO as the hard disk image, it actually started booting into macOS 10 Tiger. Now I am running full macOS on my tablet. I opened about this Mac and it correctly showed OS 10.4 running on a PowerPC G4 with 512 MB of RAM. First impressions are that it runs very slow. Since there is no GPU acceleration and the emulator prioritizes stability over speed. I played around with some of the settings and looked at the default wallpapers. A lot of them still hold up well to this day, including this one that some of you may recognize from the original iPhone. Then I enabled the network, booted back up macOS, then opened Safari 
the default web browser. I want to see if I can still browse the internet on a 20 year old OS. I went to google.com but it only gave me a message telling me to upgrade my browser. Next I tried frogfind.com, a search engine for old computers that ships out all the bullshit from the modern internet so that vintage computers can browse. I was able to read about the latest macOS Tahoe from a 20 year old version macOS Tiger which I find very funny. Later I found a Kimo hard disk image for macOS 10.5 Leopard so I downloaded it and tried it. It took a very long time to boot, around 5 whole minutes but when it fully loaded I was unable to move the mouse. So I shut down the VM and tried changing the mouse from PS2 to USB as it's generally more supported. When I loaded up macOS, I was able to move the mouse. First impressions are that 10.5 runs noticeably slower on here than 10.4. I really prefer Leopard's design over Tiger's, especially this dock and the icons, which lasted until version 10.10 .10 Yosemite where it was changed, then it was changed again in macOS 11 Big Sur. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'll emulate a modern version of macOS on this same tablet. If you made it this far, that means you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you dislike it, comment your thoughts and subscribe below to the channel. Thanks for watching.